Hey there gorgeous guys, version 2 here with Splatoon 3, Return of the Mammalians. That being said, the Mammalians aren't returning, because we fucking send those motherfuckers extinct. Um, when we last left off we beat the game, and we did unlock a secret. There is a secret, right over there. I'm aware of this. But before we start that, because I want an excuse to play as much of this as I possibly can, before we do that, that's going to be to cap off the series. You know, assuming I can even beat it based on the boss in 2, I'm not going to be able to. So, you know, probably won't be able to win this either. But! But, 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 What I want to do first is, you know how old is these levels had, uh, some of them had multiple weapons to use? I want to go through and complete every level with every weapon because that sounds fun to me. So I'm doing it. Fuck you. Suck my dick. Um... <laughs> So we're starting here. We haven't see we haven't done this one hero shot. Full 100 percent I I don't know if this unlocks literally anything. I have no idea. In Octo Expansion, I believe all it did was it changed the look of the menu. But still, I want to be able to hold my head up high and say that I did it with everything and that I'm cool. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, I remember this level. We're so much more powerful now than before. That nothing matters! Arrgh! Normally I'd say when my school asks if I could come tomorrow morning, so I've got to turn in early. Gross. 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 Being called into work extra. Ew. I get called to like ask to work later sometimes. But I understand. But, but I understand. Enjoy your work! That, that sounds condescending. That sounds condescending. Hopefully it's not as shit as it could possibly be. See, where, if any level where we get the hero shot now is just going to be hilarious. Any level with the hero shot now is going to be hilarious as an option. Because this thing has gotten so powerful. Because we actually just go with all the upgrades. But like, everything about this is upgraded, so, you know. This is... This is hilarious. This is hilarious. I can take the next two days off. Nice. Nice. I am I am lucky. I am lucky that I have a relatively consistent schedule for work. Like, the only times I will work extra is um like working um later in, in a shift um than normal. That's the only time I ever do extra. I mean I work six days a week, so I don't exactly get pulled in for extra days, especially if that extra day is a Sunday, where I'd be paid a decent chunk more. So if anyone's gonna be called in for that day, it's gonna be someone who doesn't cost as much as me. So, you know. I didn't get called in for extra days. Might be asked to do extra hours though. Honestly, the the problem that affects me more frequently, by the way, easy done. Easy done. The issue that affects me more is our uh, losing days recently. We've had public holidays and because I work casual, I didn't get paid for public holidays. And we had two public holidays in the last two weeks, so that's affected my money situation. That's the bigger concern for me. Oh, it's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be so easy to do this. I say on the easy level. Um, alright! Now we have- oh god, we have a blaster. Oh god, we have a blaster level now. Shit. Okay. My hubris is gonna get to me very, very quickly. Also, the further we go along, there's gonna be less levels that have done- Oh, this is also hero shit as well. Navigate rotating platforms to reach the- What are you possibly finding there? I've literally searched everything. How are you still finding secrets, little buddy? What? Little buddy went to find a secret there. We've literally got, like, the rewards for finding everything. Range Blaster. Range Blaster, okay. This is, this is concerning. <laughs> That'll be fine. It'll be fine. We have range. Is there any enemy still in doesn't seem like it. Sick. Hi. <laughs> You're not gonna notice me. You won't notice me. <laughs> I'm so stealth. I'm so stealth. It's more like cash days at respawn every now and then. Uh... God damn it! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Die! Die! Why do I stop that here? There we go. There we go. There we go. 
range blaster. So this is gonna. This is why I wanted to do this with all the weapons, because there's gonna be some we le levels where doing a different weapon is gonna make it so much harder. And that just sounds like a fun challenge. Because there's definitely some weapons that I'm atrocious at. Did it actually hit you like a little? I don't know if it did. Ball. Uh, hilarious. Hilarious. That being said, any level that has the hero shot is just gonna be, like, hilarious. It's gonna just be hilarious with any of those. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, that way that everything's coming up here. Wee! That's not even remotely close enough. There was no chance in hell that was ever going to hit. I don't know why I bothered trying. Range Blaster! Range! Range! Ow. Range! Lol. Oh god, okay. Now I just have to not fuck up the final jump and we're good. Hell yeah! Video game is so easy. It's so easy. So easy. So easy. <laughs> Again, we're on the early levels. It's you know, I would hope the difficulty will ramp up at some point. <laughs> you know. So you know the secret reason I'm doing this? It's to get all those power eggs to get as many shell drone items as possible. That's what it's really about. I don't know if they're useful. I don't know how useful they are. I did it once that first time and I think I just got a copy of a decoration that we got in story mode. Like, I think I just got the submarine decoration again. So, you know. There was someone down here. So, you know. Little buddy, go! <laughs> oh god, alright. Hero shot, let's go! Again, I... My memory might be wrong, but I don't think hero shot was, like, an option in the story mode. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think hero shot was an option in the story mode in 2. And you never up... Well, the, well I guess, like, I think octo shot was a thing, but you never upgraded your weapon in octo expansion. So, yeah, an option that just tore apart the difficulty like this didn't exist in that game. Because there was nothing that did that much damage. It's like nothing upgraded. So, now that we have an upgrade option in this, where it just does this much, is hilarious now. It's hilarious. <laughs> like... <laughs> I imagine there's definitely, like, especially the fact that the game keeps tracking in-game, there's definitely, like, speedrun things for, like, levels. But there's probably speedrun things where it's just, like, the fastest time across all of it. Or, um, for a lot of levels and stuff like that. A lot of great stuff. So you found a thing? Found a thing somewhere. Do you have any dialogue now that I beat the game? That's what Mar I mean, Agent Two said. We know who you all are. We know who you all are. No, no point even trying to hide it. All right, here we go. Absorbency in you. Whee! All right, reach the goal using sponges. Oh, dolly scotches. I am. Um, I want to be good with these weapons, but uh, I'm not. That's just dollies in general, honestly. I wish I could be good with dollies. I'm just always terrible at them, though. I like these dollies because they don't force you to stay in place when you dodge. When you dodge with these ones, you slide a bit and you can keep moving very quickly. So if there was any dollies that I wanted to use, it would be these ones. They also have incredible range. Their range is also fantastic. But it's just, yeah. Like, they're, like they're great. Just, you know. In, in, in multiplayer settings, I'm just terrible with um, dualies in general. I think part of the issue is that I'm bad at aiming in a way where I'm hitting with both um, shots on the enemy at once, so I'm only ever doing like half damage. I mean, that's the point of the dodge mode, right? Yeah, you can see you, you 
You're not locked in the place um, in the ground anywhere near as much. Oh, that wasn't even... You're not locked in the ground anywhere near as much. Excuse me. Where am I meant to go? Oh, there. I found it. <laughs> Whee! This is going to be a very different experience now, just tearing through the game like this. Bam, bam! <laughs> Whee! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I'm pretty sure also going through the game, for the most part, I deliberately chose the harder options for, um, for, for weapons. I'm pretty sure we did that quite a lot in the game as we went through it the first time. Like, we chose the stuff that would give us the most egg rewards all the time. So I guess I'm going back through to beat all of these levels easier. Especially with Epic Gifts of Fury, because, you know, we've upgraded that thing to high health. Oi! Oi! Stop it! <laughs> Fuck you! Whee! <laughs> it's just... It's just stupid now. It's just stupid and I love it. Whee! I mean, the other upgrades, do they still apply? Do upgrades only apply when you're using hero level and stuff? Like, there's like ink, um, there's like, get ink back faster and stuff like that. Does that stuff apply when you're using the non-hero shot weapons as well? Like, are we just overall still upgraded, or are we only upgraded when we use hero shot? I actually have no idea. I have no clue. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Sim easy video game. Easy video game. <laughs> You're gonna hear that new record sound a lot, I feel. <clears throat> Actually, some of these are gonna be slow even on repeats. I think the box one had multiple weapons. <laughs> I think the box matching one had multiple weapons. So some of them are still gonna. And I think the covering the entire statue in ink one, I think that was also multiple weapons. So some of them are gonna be slow. Some of them will be slow to repeat. Actually, that, actually, I'm not sure if the matching one had multiple. Because the one we used was the exploit, but I can't remember if it also had other options. I do not recall. I do not recall. Point is, we're challenging ourselves to play Splatoon as fast as possible right now. Whee! I swear I saw when Digital Foundry did their video on this, they said that the game hardly ever experienced frame drops. I don't know about other people, but I I feel like I experience frame drops in this game very consistently, regardless of game mode. Like, not all the time, but definitely enough of the time. I feel like regardless of the game mode that I play, frame drops are a thing in this game that just do exist. But I swear Digital Foundry said they basically never experience it. But I absolutely have a number of them. I mean, you can say at the beginning as well. I think even just then it was a little bit. I don't know, it's just weird that I feel like performance-wise, this is like the worst performance um, Splatoon game. Or at least from my end, I feel like that. I feel like Splatoon 1 and 2 were very rock solid consistent. I just don't feel that from this. And the matchmaking is... I don't know if the matchmaking is better or worse than it was in um, <laughs> I don't know if it's better than, than it was in 1 and 2. Because ju especially during 1, and I think for part of 2, I, d I was using Wi-Fi because I couldn't get a LAN adapter. <laughs> so, my experience on that is probably biased for that fact. At least I think I had a LAN adapter. Maybe? Uh, I did. I, I know for um, the Wii U I did. I'm fairly confident I did that one for that. For Splatoon 2, I don't remember. I don't remember how long ago I got it. I mean, that's Nintendo's fault for not including Ethernet ports on their fucking consoles. <laughs> like, I, I know that people say that, like, hey, if you're gonna play games online, use a LAN cable. And I would agree. And I, and I, I mean, I do agree. But, um... <laughs> also, yell at Nintendo for not including Ethernet ports in their fucking consoles. Also, yell at them for that. Like, it's re I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I, I have a LAN adapter in the Switch, because it doesn't have an Ethernet port. Even, like... By the time of the Switch, there should be a fucking Ethernet port for your for your home console. Like, 
It's absurd. It is absurd. Power eggs! Just bundles of 25. That's not worth it. That is not worth it. Um, alright. Uh, the goal using soaker blocks. There's a lot more levels that have multiple weapons than I realized. I mean, I guess this is like three levels out of ten for this world, so it's not like a shitload of them. I know my brain, my brain told me it was like one, a, one a world, which I, I guess I knew was wrong, but you know. Ah, with the brush. Wee. I remember cycle blocks existing. I don't remember which level this is in cycle blocks. Okay, it doesn't. No. It doesn't work like that. I can't go across all of them. Because it has to be on the first one. Whee! There we go. Run! There's not even any enemies here. There's not any enemies. This is just a tutorial. Whee! Run! There we go. Something again. Something again. <laughs> oh god. No! I ran out of ink that quickly? How little can you move in this before you run out of ink entirely? What? God damn it! That is getting in the way now. Hi. What's up? <laughs> uh, oh, Octobrush, I love you. Don't tell the Octo Brush. I think I'm better in multiplayer nowadays with the Ink Brush as opposed to the Octo Brush. Don't tell it though. Don't tell it that. I can make that jump. Yeah, see? Oh, fuck, right. You need the keys, don't you? Da -da. God, the music. God, the music, right? Bah! Da! Are there any other times that enemies even ink blocks um, can stop you from using them? Um, I think later on. I think that there's a level later on that has a lot more of the um, soaker blocks. They're the ones that you have to focus on like throwing small fry on it though. That might be a, is that the small fry only level? I think there's one of those. God damn it! Wait, I didn't even get a key for that, did I? That was just a bonus. God, fuck, oh god, run, <laughs> run, okay, there we go, everything's fine, everything's okay, small fry definitely makes these things a lot easier, <laughs> it does so little, I get having the burst bomb here, but it does so little, Whee! it does so little to actually like, do this, I'm not Ron, hi Ron, I hope you're aware that I'm now just gonna permanently call you Ron. I'm Dorvin. Hi, Ron. <laughs> My hair. Where'd the Ron come from, by the way? Did I say Ron? Did I say Ron at any point? I wasn't. A if I did, I wasn't aware. Oh no! Whatever will I do? <laughs> whatever will I do? Which one of these is even the circle? Oh, it is this one. There it goes. There's secrets up there. I'm not gonna bother. There's secrets up there. I'm not bothering. Zed run with the accent. Oh. Oh, the terrible Australian accent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the Australian accent is garbage and awful and terrible. I sound like a fucking drunken kookaburra. It fucking sucks. But I use it to substitute for having an interesting personality. So I love this because I'll add extra Bowser words. I feel like we take them away. I feel like we take them away a bunch. I feel like normally the Australian dialect is shortening words. Like instead of saying Australia, we say Australia. Instead of saying Melbourne, it's Melvin. <laughs> instead of saying Brisbane. Or Brisbane, it's Brisbane. <laughs> I feel like we normally show the words. 
Maybe we take our consonants and substitute them for vowels. Which I guess is like the opposite of the American accent, where like it's that more that adds to the end of every word. <laughs> Do you want to say why'd you censor Italian? <laughs> Why did you censor Italian? Go small for I go. Go small for I go. Ah. Is Italian a band word on Twitch? I can't believe Twitch would do this. As for a uh, person named Bon and that, and that's what someone said, does that mean anything? The stars are aligning. The stars are aligning, that's what it means. There we go. I don't enjoy this country. I mean, I was, I was about to say, I was about to say, I swear I hear a lot of Italians talk about how they don't like Italy. And like how often Italy is often described as one of the countries that's free to shit on and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I don't get, I don't get it. But then I remember, oh yeah, didn't like Italy just elect like a fascist uh, president slash prime minister slash whatever it would technically be. I think I get it. <laughs> Was that Italy? Was that Italy? I don't even remember. This thing is just, the hero shot is just so busted. It's just so fucking boring now. Yeah, I swear the game is definitely having frame rate drops right now. I swear it is. Whee! There we go. And it makes you feel any better. I don't like Australia. I don't like this country. Mega move, a mega move to move to Spain. Understandable. <laughs> understandable. I don't know much about Spain, but understandable. <laughs> We're gonna have so many egg by the end of this. So much egg. All right, splitting crosshairs. Oh god, break targets. Oh dear god. Okay. See, the target levels with other weapons is what I'm scared of. I think there is explicitly some levels later on that I didn't use the squiffer on for target practice. Some of them I did, but I think some of them I explicitly didn't use. It. So I'm scared. Though, I did use the trash stringer on that one level, so you know the hard part of that one's done. The tri string of levels done. One of the easiest countries um, to transition in. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I swear the frame rate is banking. <laughs> I swear the frame rate is low as shit right now. That might just be my imagination. Or maybe it's the way that my capture is playing it. But I swear I see frame drops in Splatoon with relative frequency. I mean, I would say it's not that difficult here. But uh, then I remember my experience of getting HRT that actually works, and uh, whoops, yeah, right. Things like Australia, ha Australia has informed consent as a model um, for like getting HRT and stuff like that. But a lot of doctors just choose not to use it, and I don't know if it's every state that has it. I know at least my one, New South Wales does. That was very fast. Like, you want to go and perform name and gender change? Okay, yeah, gender here you have to, uh, go through, um, surgery. Gender here is surgery. So, yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Accounts! 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 Oh god, the ink. Okay. okay, I'm noticing a problem with the slosher. There's an issue with the slosher in that when you attack with it, it has its its ink is slow, and I'm falling behind on it a lot. Hey, if you want to if you want to know whether someone is trying to use transitioning stuff to um, actually explain topics, um, oh dear God, <laughs> why is this one so hard? Fuck. Um, if you want to know whether someone's using, like, how it is to transition, um, and stuff to actually get a point across, or whether they're trying to be racist to a particular country, watch which countries they say you just need to go through surgery to get a name change, and watch which countries they say you need to be sterilized. <laughs> See that, and you'll know, and you'll know, and you'll know whether, uh, like... <laughs> is that just a better option here for this one? It might be.
Oh god, okay. Oh, I did it! That was the end of it. Woo! We did it! Yay! That was harder than I expected. Probably the slushers that it exists. Well, it's just having to lead the shot. Having to lead the shots was a bit confusing there, but I got it. But I got it. Because I noticed that I noticed some people in Australia. Like again, Australia, you need to go through um, SRS to um, or GRS or whatever it's called in your country or or, or anything like that. I don't think either of the words are good. Um, I don't think either of the terms are great, right? Both of them imply a binary that the whole point. The, my frame rate is really bad right now. What is going on? My frame rate is so terrible. If you use your special on the goal, it'll instantly ready up. I keep forgetting I have it. I keep forgetting I have the special. <laughs> I'll be honest. Is the frame rate less than 60 on your on your end watching it? Maybe I need to. Let me redo my Elgato thing. Maybe it's this. Because my frame rate is terrible on my ends. Like, pretty bad. So, I mean, my OBS looks fine. But I can't tell the frame rate of the game in OBS at the moment. Because <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, right. There was more of that level to do, wasn't there? I'm now just playing on OBS while I wait for Elgato to crank back open the window. I'll just play on OBS. Hey, Wacky! What's up? I can't hear the game right now. Elgato! Fix your fucking game capture program! <laughs> Fix your fucking game capture program! Why does it suck so bad? Why does it suck so bad? Oh dear god. My computer is having a time right now. Computer! <laughs> Agato! Oh my god. So I'm trying to full screen it on my end. I know what frame rate is I made it on maybe dying of consumption. No, I can just, I can very much notice that it's like um tanking on my end. Let's throw it a little bit. Man, it's because I'm used to Splatoon being a 60. That's still tanking. I think it's just shit. <laughs> Splatoon playing at a perfect six Splatoon 3 plays at perfect 60? I don't think so. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. At least that's not I mean, it's not just this mode, it's like um story um uh, it's like multiplayer as well. In multiplayer, I notice frame drops relatively consistently. Manage uh, dodging and jumping level. Um, I, 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 um, which one? Which one? Which do, uh, which um, dodging level? Are you talking about the one with like the the shock waves, with like things jumping and bouncing down? You have to jump over those waves. Because I did that one. If that's the one you're talking about. If that's the one you're talking about, I did that one. Man, it's amazing how much easier a uh, gun that uh, shoots <laughs> is for this. I say it as I miss all the shots. Alright, name true, steady. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, god damn it! Fucking ink. I did that one, yeah. I did that one, yeah. <laughs> okay, so ink consumption is the issue here. Ink consumption is the issue here. Okay, I, I I don't know if people watching it are noticing it, whether the recording's doing it. Because it may not be Splatoon, it may be the way the game is playing through it. Again, playing playing games through a PC means there's so many things that can be causing memory issues and stuff like that. Um, this guy, thank you! Got it. Hell yeah. Easy. So I don't know whether it's the game that's actually tanking on a frame rate. I don't know whether it's the game that's tanking frame rate or whether it's the way my game is playing the feedback of the game. Or my, whether my game still won't play back and this is fucking up. It could just be my computer just being shit, uh, shit else. OBS updated itself and ever since... O it was asking me for ages if I want to update and I said no constantly. Ah, sorry, face it, G. Um, I kept saying, no, OBS, don't update. Then one day I decided to update. And that was the day that, like, everything fucked up and it wouldn't pick up any stuff. So I had to update things to get that to work. But ever since OBS updated itself, it's been using so much more um, CPU power to just run. Which I feel like shouldn't be what it does. Maybe the fuel frame is for the friends we made along the way. I might be an elitist. I might be an elitist, and I'm sorry. But I'm only friends with people 
We live in 60 FPS. If your real life frame rate that your body moves at is 30, I'm sorry, we can't be friends. I don't even care if it's stable. I don't even care if it's a stable 30. If your real life frame rate isn't a stable 60, we can't be friends. And like, I know this game has frame drops. It's just normally they're not this consistent. <laughs> so my, uh, so I'm thinking it is a way that um, my Elgato is just playing out for things. Like, it could just be that just doing everything combined for the streaming and stuff is just the, the um, Elgato doesn't have a processing power for the program that plays the footage of the game. So actually, probably, probably. It could be that. It's possible that it's just that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about computers to be a streamer. I run into so many problems as a, um, of like, things are fucking up. Why? I don't fucking know. And that's just the end of like, what I can do with it. I got an ink storm right on that. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Rain Havoc on the enemies. Got it! Are you proud of how much havoc I'm raining on the enemies in the Ink Storm, Murray? Look how good I am at the, the Ink Storm. I'm so good with the Ink Storm. I'm so good with the Ink Storm! I dodged across the platform there like a captain in it. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll do that! <laughs> you would not do that. <laughs> Look, if you use the extra tools the game gives you, it's cheating. Limit breaks in Final Fantasy VII Remake? Cheating. Summons in that same game? Cheating. Specials in Splatoon 3 Story- in Splatoon Story Modes? Cheating. The only time it's not cheating is Weaver's Song in Hollow Note, apparently. That's the one time it doesn't count as cheating. Weaver's Song is a totally valid, valid strategy. It doesn't matter how easily you beat all, um, all the bosses and just make- uh, and just make an absolute embarrassment the entire game. That's not cheating. That's totally valid and fair. And everything else though, using tools the game gives you, cheating. Cheating. You didn't really beat the game if you used it. If it wasn't torturously difficult for you to do, did you even do it? I say that, the game that I'm openly, like, bad at. I literally titled one of the YouTube episodes that I am the worst Platoon player. Which, based on the episode that I put up, because that was the ranked video, I am! I am the worst player at this game. <laughs> it just, it just, like, it doesn't, it doesn't help that not only am I bad at this game, <laughs> but when it comes to multiplayer modes, Turf War is my best mode. Like, not even just because you don't have to focus, um, like, like, not even just because, like, it's not as hard as, uh, or anything like that. Just, like, the actual mentality of it <laughs> is easier for me. It's why, like, Splat Zones is the next thing, because, like, Turf War is about the overall push and pull of the entire map, and I can focus on that, str and I can strategize and focus on that way easier than a very specific objective that's in a specific spot of the map. Like, I feel like, I, I feel like I can, like, mentally win against opponents easier in the type of match that Turf War is. Because then it becomes an overall across the entire situation thing of just like, are they paying attention? Can we outsmart them in this way? Can I like play defense effectively to stop them from moving forward? Can I like uh, capitalize on a push and just get them down and stuff like that? But adding in the specific objectives um, that, ranked, that the ranked modes often do, just means I have to rely on being good at like actually like aiming and shooting and killing people and stuff like that <laughs> a lot more. And I'm bad at that. You didn't cheat the girl, only the you didn't only cheat the game, but also yourself. Again, unless it's Hollow Knight. Unless it's Hollow Knight. In Hollow Knight, it's totally fair. In Hollow Knight, it's totally fair. Ah, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> you can finish him off like that. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. I'm not going to though. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this and go wee. <laughs> Saw so a video about everyone's biggest cheat in Smash Bros, and then trying to get it together. <laughs> I, speaking of just getting all the cheaters together, I am of the opinion that we should have different tiers for the Olympics of different people for different sports. You should have the amateur league, which is just like literally anyone can apply and go into the amateur amateur league of the Olympics. Just fucking send in anyone, right? And then you've got like all your other ones based on like. 
uh, other skill levels and stuff like that. And you should just have the cheater leagues. You should just have the league where it's just like, hey, this one, if you're on performance enhancing drugs, fuck it, you're allowed to do it. You're, you like wanna, like you're playing a, a bit, like you're doing shot put and you wanna like use a specifically weighted shot put that other people aren't using, fuck yeah, go for it. We need the cheaters league. This is, this is what the world of the Olympics needs. I, I swear the frame rate is really bad. <laughs> Again, that might just be on, on my end thing. But I've done what I I know I can do to fix it on a, on a quick basis, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> it's not making it too difficult, so it's fine. <laughs> it's not making it too difficult. Guy right through the walls of Marathon driving in a car wins again! Exactly! Exactly. I'm okay. I I won the full on cheaters lead. Just give give me everything. This guy used this guy did a discus throw, but he put it into like one of those machines that shoots out the clay pigeons for shooting. Fuck it, he wins. It's not just the- we're not just testing the limits of human ability, we're testing the limits of human ingenuity. This is what the world of professional sports means. Yeah, the frame rate is like constantly bad now, so I'm pretty sure it's a Mayan thing. Oh, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> It's, it's just consistently shit, so I'm pretty sure it's just my ends. Ah, well. Ah, well, again, not affecting me too much. It's constantly noticeable, and it's, like, not satisfying, but it's not affecting, like, the, the, the gameplay overly drastically, so I'll live with it. <laughs> I'll, I'll live with it. I'll just bitch about it the entire time. I'll just bitch about it constantly. Fortunately, this is a level that's hard to do faster once you know what you're doing. We do just have to go for that. Whee! I got them that time! Pretty sure I missed it last time. All of the events need a regular dude running along them just for reference. Exactly, we need the amateur league as well. Oh, what was that fucking TikTok about, like, letting transgender people in sport or something like that. It's just like, we should have football where we let anyone in. It's like, you're telling me you don't want to see a middle-aged white dude run, running along the field and getting clocked by a six foot four they, them named Brutus? It's like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. This is what the world of sports needs to be. It's what it needs to be. By the way, same level again. What level should I play next? Play the same level! Alright, same level it is. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Like, I feel like the frame rate's getting worse as time goes on, so I feel like my computer's just on the way out. My computer, my CPU usage is also jumping up massively. Give me one second, I'm going to go into the task manager. My CPU usage is just slowly rising as well. Like, it's just going up and up and up constantly. So what is it? Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Like my CPU usage is just... This happened before. This happened before. Where OBS just starts drawing as much fucking power as it possibly can. I don't know what causes that. But I think that's what it is. It's so annoying that the issues I run into the most in my PC in terms of performance issues are CPU related, considering the CPU is by far the best part of my computer. The CPU is the best part of my computer, and that is... I, I, don't, have to not, I don't have to not something like that, do I? <laughs> the CPU is the best part of my computer, and it's the part that I run into, um, like, ball, bottlenecks of performance the most. And I don't know how that's possible! <laughs> I don't know how that's fucking possible that the CPU is the thing that's always dying. I don't get it. 
Like, everything else isn't as good as it could be. I get it. The CPU is literally the one part that I ensured was the absolute best that I could get it. All right, Mike. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if the frame rate is showing it on your end. I, I, my frame rate that I'm playing at now is like maybe 15 to 20. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse. I'm thinking I might need to reboot my computer. <laughs> no, I can beat, I can beat the levels like this. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Is the frame rate still working coming out on the stream okay? Because I remember last time this happened, it tanked the frame rate of the entire stream, so. If I wave, does it look bad? <laughs> yeah, like the CPU usage of OBS is just steadily rising. Like when I'm normally streaming, CPU usage drops between the um, OBS, between 15 and 20%. It's just been slowly rising above that, that now it's at 42%. <laughs> So I think my computer's just doing something wrong. I'm worried there's like a, there might be just like a memory like or something happening. Or oh, something going on. This has happened before. I think it was during a Final Fantasy stream. So this yeah, no, because that was during the Moonfire Fair. Right, yeah, it was during the Moonfire Fair that this happened. We were doing Moonfire Fair and eventually my, my computer just got to the point where it just started fucking tanking and shitting itself. Um, uh, for performance. Yeah, it was during Moonfire Fair. Yeah, this is the same shit as that, so yeah. After this level, I might need to stop the stream for a second and reboot the fucking computer. Because, uh, it's getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. That's why I don't like PC gaming! Or just doing things on PC in general. There's just so many more issues that I can run into, and I don't know how to prevent those. I mean, like, if I didn't do stuff on PC, I wouldn't be able to stream at all. So, it's a concession that I take to be able to stream. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna reboot my computer and just hope that fixes it. Um, so, the stream will stop for a second. It'll all be part of the same YouTube video. I'm just gonna start streaming immediately once the computer reboots. But uh, I'm gonna reboot my computer. Because again, my in-game frame rate, that I, like the frame rate I'm looking at in Splatoon right now is like 15 to 20. <laughs> I have no idea what it's playing on, on your end. But I'll be back. Okay, we should be back. Frame rate of the game seems a lot, a lot better. It really does seem like my computer was just dying and screaming in agonizing help. Uh, we should be good though to break fix flickies. I did. Sick. Nice. My face cam properties preset themselves every time the computer's reset. <laughs> and I never remember whether I fixed them or not. And I test it by doing that. And if you can see the background darkening when I do that, it means I haven't done it yet. I don't know how to fix my skin being shiny though. Like, look at that. Like, look how reflective my skin is. But also, look at how pasty I am. I don't know if that's something I can just fix. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I can just fix. So, you know. Oh well, anyway, back in the Splatoon. With an actual playable frame rate this time. Hell yeah. See, my CPU usage now is 19, is, well, it's it's flicking between 15 and 19%. It got up to 42 before. Well, okay, OBS CPU usage. <laughs> so, you know. I don't know, maybe other parts of the computer aren't getting up to speed enough or aren't doing well enough, that the CPU is having to like take over some of their jobs. And like, I encode one of the, um, the stream things with my CPU. Basically to ensure that YouTube has a good quality. When I'm streaming, I'm basically doing two video files at once. Um, I basically have two video files going at once for doing YouTube stuff. This Small Fry kills these things in like two bites now. What the fuck? But basically, I've, only got, I've got it set so it's encoding two videos um, when I'm streaming. One for the stream itself and then one for the, the recording, which is what I then put onto YouTube. Um, so one of those is being encoded with the CPU and the other is being encoded with my graphics card. I don't remember which one's there. I think my, I think the CPU is doing the stream one, so it should be a lot simpler. Because I don't need to stream at anything higher than a bit rate of like 6,000. Because that's the highest which will let you. Unless you're like one of the certain partner things. Whereas the recording is at 15,000 um, bit rate. Because, you know, I can put up a much higher quality video onto YouTube after the fact rather than uploading a, um, a stream to Twitch. 
So I think the CPU is doing the simpler one. I'm pretty sure the CPU is doing the simpler one. Um. All right, I gotta do this, don't I? Yeah. I remember how this works. Whee! Yeah. Hell yeah. Bam! There we go. There we go. Yeah, now the CPU is like 12 to 14. Yeah, it's fine. The computer was just dying before. That just happens sometimes. It's all right. I all my all my computer stuff is set up on um like for the um for the BIOS and everything um in the operating system. Um, well, the BIOS is graphics is the uh, motherboard. BIOS is motherboard. I meant the OS. BIOS OS. There's just a couple of this difference. The OS is on my SSD, so the computer is like really fast to actually reboot. So if I have to reboot, it's not too big of an issue. Ink brush, destroy all the targets. Oh, I remember this level. Yeah, it's the one we did with the flings before. Yeah, I remember this one. I remember this level. Yeah, I remember this one. Run! Okay, sick. Ink brush does destroy this in one go. Nice. Da, 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 da. Okay. Refill ink a lot. Ah. Ah. What? A target? Wait, what? I missed the target? Wait, what? I did not notice. What? <laughs> okay. Where? I'm just missing a target. Where is it? Where am I missing a target? Oh, is there one behind one of these? No. I have no idea. Because I'm now further. I'll take that. I was missing one somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> I apparently just missed one both first times and I just got it that time. All right. <laughs> Not gonna pretend to understand. Not gonna pretend to understand. Oh God, slosher. I feel like the ink brush was the easiest one for this one. shit. So this is, this is the thing that's gonna be scary. So there are gonna be certain levels where it just gets really hard because of the weapons that we have to use. Again, I feel like I've cleared out some of those. I feel like I've cleared out some of the levels that are, um, like, a problem. Depending on the weapon choice, but not all of them. Like, I did some of the Squiffer levels with Target. Um, Target levels with Squiffer, so that was fine. But, uh, there's also definitely certain ones that I haven't. So this is going to be way harder than the Ink Crush. <laughs> this is way harder than the Ink Crush. I guess the idea is that it can do this. Uh, yeah, I guess the idea is that for the stacks, it just does one of them at once. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. You missed the target somewhere. Oh, it, oh, it also does these in one hit. Okay, never mind.
Never mind, that was a lot easier. <laughs> Never mind, it was a lot easier with the slusher. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it'd be a lot harder. It was not. It was not. <laughs> oh, goodness. How long have I actually been gone for? Now that I've reset it, how long was the other part? Oh, like, less than an hour. Less than an hour. <laughs> right, I already did that. We already did it both times. I did it. I did it both times. All right. So this is one with the targets, but we already did it with the um, squiffer. So now it's just the squeezer and the nozzle nose. Hopefully that means it's easier. Hopefully that means it's easier. I don't have to worry about aiming charge shots effectively, which I think is what killed me at the end of this level a lot. Trying to get that charge shot in the end there properly. I mean, I'm not using a charger. That alone should make it a lot easier, All right? Right? We hope. We hope. We desperately hope. Sorry, my hair is just irritating the shit out of me. Like, it's not just that it looks terrible when my hair is being a shit. It also just physically feels uncomfortable. Just, like, the way it physically feels on my face is uncomfortable as hell when it's, um, being a shit up. I guess I'm... The idea for these is I can do this. I guess that's the idea I can pick for that. Run, run, run! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing does not make the most uh, even uh, pathways uh, for ink to like shoot up through. Like to run through. There we go. Alright. There we go. There we go. So yes, easier than the Squiffer. <laughs> Shocker, I know. Shocker, I know. Again, I feel like there's still some target levels that I deliberately didn't do with the Squiffer. Because we did like two or three of them already. Oh god, I know the one. Oh, fucking kill me. I'll do so. Can I skip that one? Shit, I know the one that I haven't done with the Squiffer. It's the one where the boxes are being thrown at you. Oh, fuck me. I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, God. I, I now remember. I now remember. Right. The box is being thrown at you. I didn't do the Swiffer for that one. It was an option. I didn't do it. I started with it, I think, and then I said no. Oh, fucking kill me. Oh, fuck no. Oh, God. Okay. Does the squeezer and squeeze mode not even destroy balloons at a single hit? That is kind of hilarious. I really like the concept of the squeezer. I think I'm just too much of an idiot to use it effectively. I love the concept of this weapon. It's like long distance or turf firing thing by just like how you tap the button. I mean, it's what I like about the ballpoint, right? That's what I like about the ballpoint blaster. Yeah, literally not even a thing. Um. <laughs> what I like about the ballpoint, but this is something about it that just doesn't make it quite work for me. I think if it was like a nozzle nose where if you pressed it once, it would do three long shots and then went into the other mode, I could handle it. Because I like the nozzle noses. I do like the nozzle noses. I'm not great with them, but I do like using them. Um, so that's all those done. All right, just onto this one. I feel like we're gonna get every level done today, except for the box one with the Squiffer and the Super Boss and the entire next stream, which is gonna be 15 hours. It's just gonna be those two levels. <laughs> I like how it's just like, okay, no, you have to use the splatter shot for this one. You have to use the splatter shot. The hero shot's too powerful. Avoiding sticks. I'll try my best. There we go. Anchor I'll hop in. I need the eggs. I need as many shelter and items as I can get my hands on. Get ready, one, two, go! Great counting method there. Oh, that just goes under all of them. 
Why is that the bonus for the rings? Okay. Go! Whee! I don't even think that was necessary the way that I did it. Come multiple at once. I'll do that. Hey! There we go. Sweet! It, it shows all these eggs come flying out. And it's 10. And it's 10. Again, the rewards you get in a level. Isn't this literally to the end of this? Yeah. <laughs> I literally just took a shortcut. Again, the balance between how many um, eggs you get for completing a level compared to how much is the secret in that level is slightly uh, disjointed. Just ever so slightly. Run! Don't hit me! Run! Run! <laughs> Helps if I have Vink to actually throw a bomb, doesn't it? <laughs> Easy! Bam! Bam! Again, this entire first thing is just going to be doing all of these, except for the, the two most painful ones. There's another level where it's like stand on the pad and shoot everything for a target one. I think I had the charger for that one, and I think I used it for that one, but I don't, but I don't remember. But I don't remember. So let me just double check. I've done all of these ones, right? Yes. Yes. Um. Yes. Yes. Okay, so they definitely get, yeah, we're definitely getting to a lot more levels that don't have, um, all the options. Uh, see this one? Break all the targets. God, that's a squiffer one, isn't it? Uh, that's a, uh, god. Oh, this is the Pac-Man one, but with an A-leader. I'm just looking at what hell awaits me. Enemy field tower, that's another squiffer one. I think the target one, I did with a squiffer already. I think so. Or with a charger one. Well, I did a bamboozle one here, but that also has the, um, the tri-stringer. Don't remember which one's which. All right, propelled to greatness. We have a goo tuber for this one. We have a goo tuber for this one. Where's all the tuba fans that, that, that just love the goo tube? I There are some people where it just seems like their thing is just the goo tuba. But I don't know how much of that's a meme or not. So I know the whole thing is like it holds um, a charge for an absurdly long time, but I don't know if that's like people's thing. <laughs> I don't play charges, and I refuse to associate with people who do. I try my best to not associate with charge with uh, with charger mains. So okay. I mean, its range seems pretty good. It's range is good. I mean, it's a charger. You'd fucking hope so, right? But, um... I feel like, I feel like it's a longer range than, like, even, like, in all splat charges and stuff like that. Whee! Not quite. Not quite that much range. <laughs> Not quite that much. Boink. <laughs> ah! Boink. Maybe it's thing for ranges how long it takes to charge. Whee! Do I even need a full? Okay, you don't even need a full charge to actually do those things. Do two uncharged shots kill these things? God damn. Wait, don't go down too far. I don't think it can go in the water, but I'm terrified that it can. Is that all of them? Nice, easy. Easy. It's 
So I can play levels with a shotgun. Because the enemies are incredibly predictable. <laughs> Cut to me being so terrible with dodges and samurai. On that, there we go. Did it, I did it, I did it. Hot's commanders are the worst. How far away can I snipe? You? No! No! That's not what I meant. I'm not even using the Gootuber aspect of holding a charge. I'm just treating it like a starter. There we go. There we go. Easy! Easy! Video games are easy. They're so fucking simple. Again, we went through most of this deliberately choos choosing the hard weapon the first time around. There's just gonna be a couple standouts. I mean, was the charger meant to be the hard one there? It's the last one listed, but it's the same rewards as the Nautilus. I think I just used it because I wanted to use the Nautilus. Again, I'm pretty sure the target throwing box one had a charger option that I didn't use. That's the one I'm scared of. So I think, even though it's a bunch of levels that I've done, it's still fun to do this. And unlike Splatoon 2 story mode, I don't have to do it. I have to do only some levels multiple times to clear it all out. At most, it's only three different weapons instead of nine of them. And the different weapons change per level, and it's not the same nine or ten weapons for every single level. Splatoon 2 story mode. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the one that people are always gonna just be like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's like, do you, hey, do you think I'm grinding? Like, do you think I'm being a bit grindy here, completing all these levels with all the weapons? Boy, howdy. Go on 100% Splatoon 2 story mode. You'll be there all fucking day. It's either 9 or 10. It's every level you have to do. It's either 9 or 10 times. I can't remember. My brain is saying 9. Because the whole point of that is this. No actual specific weapons, they're all just weapon archetypes. There is a dually, there is a charger, there is a splatter shot, there is a blaster, right? And they're all just like the basic version of it. Like pretty much the same as just like the standard version of that is. So there's no like a specifically nozzle nose or goo tuber or nautilus for a splat lane or um anything like that. No squeeze and no nozzle nose. Like there's none of those varieties. And it's every level in the game with every single one of those. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's just fucking absurd. Hell, even Splatoon 1, it was just like clear levels with um, the hero shot. I mean, Splatoon 1 story mode, every level was only a hero shot. It was the one weapon you had for the entire story mode. But if you used amiibos, I think it was, you could beat every level with, um, like one of the amiibos was like beat levels with a charger. One of them was like beat, now beat levels with a roller. Small Fry really wants that ass. <laughs> and that was like an amiibo bonus, but even then it was every level with three weapons as opposed to fucking nine of them. Boom. Oh, the hoppers don't have a sense of humor and they hate pun- Oh, it's because the pun level. Oh God, it's the pun level. I remember this. I also remember it because it was kind of difficult because Octohoppers actually do quite a lot of damage because they're basically sloshes. Speaking of sloshes. <laughs> Speaking of fucking sloshes. There we go. They hate funds. Ah, I outslosh a range of them. I think. Hey! That was just a normal bullet. Where the fuck did that come from? The, that was a normal bullet. Where'd that come from? I'm confused. Hey! 
Hot slusher on slusher action. They're hopping mad. Callie and Marie, aware that the enemies are getting enraged by puns and becoming more dangerous, proceed to spend the entire level saying nothing but puns. I think they want Agent 3 dead. New Agent 3. New Agent 3. That's still a confusing naming convention. It's still confusing that they had Agent 3 in the first game. And the second game, and now this is just a new Agent 3. Like, I get it, because Agent 3 is now the captain of the entire thing. I get it. I get it. But, like... <laughs> it's still confusing. Okay, I think I think the delineation able to see is like Captain Three and New Agent Three, but still it's confusing. It's still confusing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, yeah, wasn't this by two of them just like killed themselves by jumping the ledge? Easy done. Video games are so easy, everyone. You don't even know how fucking easy they are. They're so fucking simple. This is all just building up to when the game decides to kick me in the dick. Square into it! Square in it! <laughs> Alright, back in we go. Sorry, small fry, I'm not- I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Sorry, small fry. I'm gonna go get secrets. That secrets is 25 power eggs. I have 36,000. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Whee! They're happy to see me. Rah! Oh, there is a normal one here. That bullet hit me out of nowhere. It did actually come from that. I guess I just killed it that I didn't even realize it. But not before it shot off the bullet. Like, you shoot that orange box and it gives you one. I'm getting like a few hundred completions. Again, it's just, it seems a bit off balance. It seems a bit off balance. And I guess the idea is you also get a bunch of killing the enemies. So maybe if you get all the secrets in a level and kill all the enemies in a level, the amount you'd get for that level would be roughly equivalent to how many you'll get for actually like beating it. But even then, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, it's just funny, it's like you can risk life and limb to get a secret, right? Some of the secrets you do have to like risk yourself to actually go and grab like the bundle of power eggs. And it's like, you gotta risk dying to get it. And still the bonus is like 25. I just find it funny. I mean, good thing I have all that. Look how many bonuses I'm going to get from, uh, what's his name now? It's gonna be like a month of loading into the story mode to get all the bonuses from Sheldon. <laughs> There's a lot to do now. You gotta stop giving me the hero shot on levels. You gotta stop. You gotta stop giving me the upgraded hero shot on levels. It's embarrassing for the enemies. It's embarrassing. So we are, yeah, we're on mod four, so I feel like we're making decent pace. <laughs> I feel like we're making decent pace getting through it all. We also don't have any overworld to, stuff to do here. It is just do the levels. Uh, stay in your lane and reach the goal. I don't remember what this is. I did this with the hero shot, which is interesting. Maybe it's because we hadn't used the hero shot for so long that I decided to use it. Maybe that's what it was. I don't even remember what this level is. Once I say it, maybe I will. Oh, it's the bowling ball one. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, Squiffer time. It's here, everyone. Squiffer! Yeah, okay, now I remember. <laughs> I see the bowling balls. I remember now. I remember. I'm, I remember. I remember. Whee! You know, actually, making a giant line of ink to then swim through? Shit, maybe a charger is actually pretty good for this. <laughs> Shit, maybe a charger is actually a pretty good option for this. <laughs> Lay off one charge shot, you're done. 
Whee! Okay. <laughs> Get through. Okay. <laughs> As I remember that one coming up and hit me from behind last turn. A distinct memory. We can spare a moment. Let's catch our breath. <laughs> the puns are still happening. Oh, right. Oh, right. These ones alternate. Right. Yeah, yeah. I remember this. Okay. I am now remember. I am now recollecting. My, my brain has a recollection moment of this. Right, that's how that works, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, not even close. Oh god! <laughs> they have precise hitboxes, you don't have to worry too much. Ready, and... Easy! Easy. I haven't done this with all the choices yet, not sure if I'm going to. I mean, I just enjoy just running around in these levels, so I just- I'm just doing it as an excuse to just do it more. <laughs> like, I wanna just I just wanna play more of the story mode, so I'm just using this as an excuse to do so. <laughs> so just walking diagonally here, so it's like a really effective strategy, actually. I'll do that. Ah, the, the floor there wasn't quite working. Did you see the way the ink light up? There we go. The lines in the floor were like messing out the ink light down. I guess they technically count as separate surfaces, so the way the ink collides lands on the ground counts differently. I mean, I'm going through them quick, but it, they will get harder as we go on. And the later we get, like, the more multi level options there seems to be. So. Well, I went into this not knowing if this would be a single stream. Mainly because that one target stay- Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's my concern too. That's my concern as well. I am also terrified of this happening. Are you talking about the one where they throw the boxes at you? Because <laughs> that's the one I'm worried about. Because I did that level before. I, I, I've done every level. Um, but I don't remember what I did with that level with the first time we did it. I, I think I cowered it out of the squiffer. So I think I have to go back to do it with the squiffer. And that just terrifies me. Like that one level with the tri-stringer that took a while. I forgot about that one. Also, I don't remember what the, op what the options were for that. I don't remember if the squiffer or a charger was an option. I might be thinking of a splatling that I was failing with. I don't remember. It might have been a splatling that I, was, that I couldn't do it with. Because I remember the level, but I don't remember like what the options were. I, I seem to recall whatever I started trying to use, I gave up and went to something else. So it makes sense that that was, you know, a charger. Just go. <laughs> Does it even matter? You have a brush. <laughs> you have a brush. Just go. It's fine. And it's gonna be pretty embarrassing if I go to all this effort to do the levels with this many different weapons. And then I give up because there's one level that's a pain in the ass, right? So doing this, I'm kind of committing myself to it. How is the Octo Brush the hardest option for this level? How is the Octo Brush the final one? How is the Octo Brush the final one for this? It was by far the easiest. You literally just run with it and dodge the balls and it's fine. It negates the primary challenge of having to ink up the space and then run past it. How is that the hard one? What? I'm confused. I am confused. Okay. Um, so all those done. Splash the block party. Reach the goal using soaker blocks. There's a number of soaker block levels. I don't remember which one this is. But it's awesome using soaker Which we know how well that goes for me. We know how well me using a stringer goes. <gasps> Fucking terribly! Oh yeah, this is the- Okay, so this is the one we use small fry a lot. So our first time doing this was using small fry. Yeah, it was small fry this first time around. 
So this is just now a completely different type of level because of this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and the commentary changes too. Because they're now saying I better charge shot with you. Well, I'm pretty sure it was before they said it has to be small fry. So yeah, this just changes like the type of thing the level is a lot. That's cool. We don't need bonuses or secrets. So, you know. Still quick and easy. Oh, I remember this. Okay, yeah. You just gotta jump for it, don't you? Whee! Ready, watch this. All four at once. Damn it. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible and atrocious. Oh god, so now I have to like hit it from a distance to keep going? Oh wow, okay. That's very different. Like, small fry is just you just put small fry on there and it just goes. But with small fry, you also have to pay attention to like what side you're throwing small fry at for a lot of the levels. Like, here you just leave small fry on this shit and it just does it. <laughs> Okay. Shit. Okay, just kill him first. <laughs> just kill him first. <laughs> oh, dear God. No! I just fucking saw off the edge. This is definitely harder without small fry. <laughs> ha! I did probably that time. So you still have to worry about the size that you hit it, hitting with here. Kind of. That's how we do this. That's how we do this. <laughs> Make life simpler for ourselves. Kill the fucker first. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm still shocked that the reflux gets rid of the explosion effect at the end. Like, I feel like that's one of the features of triggers. <laughs> But out of the two of them, one of them doesn't do it. Also, I reset I reboot my computer to fix up the CPU um issue. And it fixed that, right? And now the camera's glitching again. God fucking damn it, I can never get a win where everything just actually works properly, can I? That's just not happening, is it? I've been amused, amused, and carefully and copy the template. Alright, so we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> Fuck, okay. <laughs> Fuck, alright. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Sloshing machine. <laughs> There's no real fast way to do this without just rope memorizing without just straight up memorizing it, is there? <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be tedious. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, okay, the next one's okay, so that just matches that. That's fine. See, this scares me of just like trying to aim this and just making sure I hit what I'm aiming for properly. <laughs> why why out of all the levels have three weapons? Why this one? 
Why three options for this level of all things? Um, okay, so the next one is the one with the bot, um, the bots at the end. Oh, the poppies. I have to be very careful with how I aim. I have to be very careful with how I aim. <laughs> Out of all the things, a sloshing machine? <laughs> like, really? Very carefully with some of those. Oh, I have to go up to fix up some of that, don't I? Yeah, because the entire top has to be cleared up here, doesn't it? So the next one is just the one dot on the top, right? Yeah, just one dot, dot on top. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Don't do that where it just doesn't destroy it. Please, for the love of God, not on this level. Um, okay. So yeah, it's the nine by nine, but without the two corners. I can see, yeah, I can see that. And that, yeah, the very top one gets taken off too. That one. I don't trust myself to hit it from this angle, I'll be honest. It says that it's gonna do it, but the arc that it travels at, I don't trust it. <laughs> so we're gonna stand just here and do that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's that done. So the next one is just the two up and then the two corners, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Two up in the middle, two corners, okay. There we go. I looked at it. Sweet. No, I will ignore it entirely. <laughs> Look, see if it goes. I already looked at it. <laughs> Speedrun records for that level would be hilarious because you just have to memorize it from the start. And then you can just try and fly past it by just going bam, 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 bam. And now the squeezer. Ugh, God, okay. <laughs> and now the squeezer. Whee! Okay. So the first one's just, yeah, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, so I get why this is the basic one. Like, why this is the easy one. Because you can hit something by accident and it won't fuck you over. I get that. It doesn't mean I'm a fan, though. For me, it just, it's more opportunities to hit the wrong one. Okay, so the next one has the two sides ones, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure there'd be ways to zip caster around this to get it like super fast. And I, although I guess I'd be curious how some of the speedrun stuff for this would work. See someone beat this level in like a fucking minute, probably. 
Uh, so the next one has, yeah, the one space at the top, but not the sides. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting impatient because I'm zip casting around instead of just uh, moving around. There we go. So, just to make sure I am at the right spot. Yep, okay. So, the 4x4, four four, but without the corners. That's up. Yep, Do not trust trying to hit that part at all. Not at all. Yeah, that's that, and then it's just the two, right, we're at the top stage already? Yeah, last two, so two up and then two points. Easy! Just two up, right here. Woo! There we go! Speedrun strats! Speed run struts! 2.34. That was only slightly faster than the time where I actually paid attention. That's concerning. <laughs> I'm gonna max out the fucking egg cannon by the end of this, I swear to god. It's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, so dun 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 dun. Oh, fuck, no, it is this one. Fuck me. Oh, God. Can I not do, can I not do this? Can I not do this? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Can I not do this? <laughs> I'm going to do it with the dualies right now. And I will leave the squiffer for later. Because I don't want to be stuck on the squiffer for the rest of the day. Oh god, it's this one. Fuck! <laughs> this is the one that I'm scared of. This is the one I'm terrified of. Even with the, the splatling we had, this was hard as shit. I think it's just a case of remembering where they land. They just bounce so fucking awkwardly. They just bounce so goddamn awkwardly. Is this one to the side? No. Okay, yeah. Further over to the side. Even further over. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, yeah, okay. Again, even with this, this is a nightmare. I don't want to do this with the square for I just don't. This just sounds like hell. Cannot sounds like is. Let the last one go. Oh, what? Oh, the last one doesn't even come into the arena? Oh. Oh, did the game fuck up just then? Was that meant to happen, or did I get actually fucked over? <laughs> I hate this level. I fucking hate this level. I really do. This level fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fuck this level so much. Fuck this level. Like, I was wondering maybe the best way, instead of trying to even use the Squiffer, just use the burst bombs. <laughs> that might actually be the best strat. Nah, I feel like they're even harder to hit with, actually. Because they take time to move. Knowing where they land, I think, helps. Like, we, if we know where they land, I can just aim on the ground for them. Yeah, it doesn't help how fucking weird these things move. I hate this level. Yeah, I think that one just doesn't come into the arena at all. Just to fuck you over. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and not do that with the Squiffer right now. I will leave that till later. <laughs> I will leave that till later, because that's going to take several hours. I will pass for the time being, because I want to enjoy my day. <laughs> it's my day off work, I don't enjoy it. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, thanks, more, more, more destroying targets, sick. Love it, love it, these are my favorite levels. All right, destroy more targets, here we go! <laughs> I knew that was that bouncy level, I was like, is it the Squiffer? I don't know what this is good for. Hand-eye rail coordination, destroy everything, okay. I don't remember which one this is. Cause we, I was, we had the splat one. Cause I remember one where we had a ride rail, but we had the tri string one. So I don't quite remember this. This seems so much tamer than other things we've done so far. I can't wait for it to turn into hell. I can't wait for this to turn out to be incredibly difficult. I feel like it's coming. Final checkpoint, okay. Camera still glitching out, damn it. I don't know what it is, like when you reset the computer, sometimes the camera will glitch out and sometimes it won't. What? What the fuck determines that? Uh, computers. I will never understand how you work enough to actually be good at something with any capacity. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? I guess I didn't hit it direct, I just hit it with the arm. Um... No, because those get splash damage and they die. What the fuck? <laughs> it must have just been like on the very outskirts of the splash damage, so I only got a little bit of it. Oh, you go around on that all the time. Oh, you go around on that really fast. That was actually... I, I got those way earlier than I needed to. Nero was panicking. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Rapid Blaster. <laughs> Go 
compared to other target levels we've done, this feels like it's very simple. <laughs> compared to other target levels we've done, that seems like a much simpler one than most. <laughs> What the fuck is my- oh my god. I just want to know how my, to make my hair not garbage and shit else. I just have your hair that's too fucking greasy. Like, I do everything in my can to mitigate how much grease there is. Like, I, I, I wash it intensely and stuff like that. And this never seems to- nope, nope. Hair's always garbage. <laughs> Oh, as long as it's gonna happen just forever. I can probably count on two hands the number of days in my life I've been happy with my hair. And most of the time, because my body is just deliberately trying to fuck me over, it happens on days where I'm not streaming. <laughs> I've had that before where I've posted in Discord. Why is my hair behaving today when I'm when I know I'm not streaming? What the fuck? My body's conspiring against me to make sure that I never look the best that I can, which is to say, still terrible, but at least not the worst it could be on camera. My buddy's conspiring against me. My buddy's conspiring against me to make, to make everyone believe that I only ever have terrible fucking hair. Which is mostly true, but sometimes it's okay. <sighs> That's the thing, being a streamer and now having the face cam and everything, it has not made me more confident in my appearance in any capacity, not even slightly, but it, it, it's made me become more accepting with how bad it is and being okay with people seeing that. So I guess that's something. It technically comes under the category of something. Oh, the game just knows. Yeah, if we just give you a gun that's not fucked up to try and do what you're, what we're telling you to do, it's easy. Like, yeah, it's easy if you just can hit targets with a weapon that just shoots normally. And yet all the weapons that don't shoot normally are like all these extra things to give you a multiplayer. It's why I gravitate to the weapons that shoot normally for multiplayer. Because everything else shoots win. I might get less power eggs for my sick kills in multiplayer, but come on. I'm doing well. What do you mean it's obvious that I'm an error spray, error spray main? What do you mean it's obvious? It's alright, I'm close to getting the badge for it. The first one. The first one. <laughs> I am close to getting the first badge for the, um, for the error spray. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Flying worst gloves. Hitch rights to reach the goal. Stop giving me squiffers. Though this, I believe, is just a Bing Bang level, isn't it? I believe this is one of the Bing Bang levels where you just ride on the um the balloons again, like the zeppelins. From my memory, which is fantastic. I believe so. It's Bing Bang time! All these levels are done. This is the first Bing Bang today. Bang bang. Yeah, I'm not setting it up again. That bit is dead! And by that I mean I'm too lazy and I'm going to clear the level so fast that we don't need to turn the volume because we're going to be out of level too quickly. Bing bang. <laughs> if you want your video game music to be memorable, just put people just saying a bunch of high energy weird sounds into it and... People will love your song. Big bang. <laughs> Literally no need. Sup, Nickad? Why is Squiffer for this level, dare I ask? Is this a level where you're just running around riding on stuff? Why a squiffer? Well, I'm an idiot, so fuck. How far back did I just go? Wait, where the fuck am I? If I enter the part of the level that I'm not... What the fuck am I? <sighs> I 
Okay, I'm here. Okay. Whoops. I, that's just made me an idiot. Ready? There we go. Bing, 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 bang. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do here? Burst bomb so it hits the entire thing. There we go. That makes more sense. Bing, bing, bang. You can tell I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to play this game like it's an older Splatoon game where I go balls by just rapidly mashing the jump as opposed to the charging of the switch. I just accidentally dodged those. I'm so good at accidents. That's what I get for being one. Um... There we go. The dead end came back to life. Dead end ended again. Sup? What? Like, why this level with multiple weapons? I don't get why this is a multiple weapon level. I feel like the skill here is like dealing with these things and not the weapon you use. And like you've got like shooting these things at the end, which by the way, we've literally done this in a previous level. <laughs> like this is a test that's in a previous level. But the last time we wrote on these things, it ended by, hey, a bunch of things are flying at you, kill them. I like how the door closes there, just be like, you're gonna die! I think you're flying with Lockdown Zeppelin Air. Bing, 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 bing. Wee! Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bang. There we go. Again, I feel like that level doesn't need multiple weapons. It just seems like it's. The test isn't about how you're shooting things, it's about like, about like platforming and stuff like that. <laughs> so I don't get why this is a level with multiple weapons. Like, some of them I get it. The type of challenge. Or well, the difficulty of the challenge can change based on how you use a weapon in the level. I get that. This just doesn't feel like that. It just feels like a platforming level. But a skill isn't how can you do use the weapon. <laughs> so I'm a touch confused. I don't know, maybe it's a case if they had this level based around one of the other weapons, but they realized that uh, doing the platforming and a difficult weapon for it might be like too much for some people, so give them some options in case they just like struggle with platform enough that they can use the end zap to make that part of it at least easier. Did you ride an octo missile? I already did that, Marie. Yeah, with the program, God. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain too much. It gives us two more opportunities to listen to Bing Bang Bing. So deep, Bing Bang. Alright, so. Like, getting through these parts, yeah, this is easier with an end zap, but like, is it that different? <laughs> Using an end zap compared to anything else? I don't know. No, I, I feel like I still like this game. I, I feel like I still like Octo Expansion more than Return of the Millions. But how much of that is just, this isn't the first time I've experienced a Splatoon mode be like this. So therefore, it, the novelty means that I don't, like... The novelty isn't blowing blowing me away as much. I don't know. I don't know. Those are things that are hard to do. Okay? But I'd, I have to. I, I mentioned it before. I'd have to like go back and play Octo Expansion again to like properly judge. Though the um, the ending, I'm confident on saying I prefer the ending of Octo Expansion. Not that it isn't good in this one, just you know, this one is all hype and spectacle, and I love that. Don't get me wrong, but. The emotional impact is to care about the characters more. Um, and I feel like human... Uh, just a human, or a human statue, and something being controlled directly by humans, is a more impactful final boss than um, Chris. I mean, that was still cool. It was still cool, don't get me wrong, but... Like, I cared about, like, the characters of Pearl Marina more. Um, and, like, everything about that. And it was, like, cool that, like... In this, you're just uh, you're just Agent Four, just doing the things to save the day. Or in like Octo Expansion, you were trying to escape, um, like a place that you were trapped in and everything like that. And then like as you get out, like you help, you end up becoming here or something like that. I, I don't know. I liked all of that. 
and just the way the music was done at the end. Like, what you're doing is, like, nowhere near as dramatic or intense or anything like that. And I, I do think Splatoon 3's ending is awesome for the spectacle. Look, and they ended a Splatoon game in fucking space! Which is wild! <laughs> but... For the impact, I can't deny the emotional aspect of it. And because I care about the characters more and stuff like that. In general, it's because I care about the characters more. Um, destroy the targets and reach the goal. So we did this one with the Squiffer already. So now we just have to do it with Splash Up right. How many target levels are in this one world? This is the third one we've seen. Uh, the riding on the rail one, the throwing the things at us one, now this one. There's like three target levels in one world. <laughs> Maybe I'm also right that this has less variety than Octo Expansion did. <laughs> Mate, that's a thing that my brain is telling me, but I don't know if it's accurate, but mate, okay, I, this, okay, this was the other one I was remembering, and I couldn't remember if I already did this one with the charger. So yes, there's one target level that I didn't do with the charger. So yes, okay. We're fine in that regard, because I remember this, it was this one and the, um, and the throwing target ones. And I'm just like, I don't remember whether I gave up on this one with the charger or not. No, we did it with the charger. So now I just have to do it with these way, which is good. <laughs> Makes my life easier. That was a bullet that fell down on that. Okay, the default position for standing here is just like, the default position of standing on that platform makes the balloons just out of the range of the splatter shot. Which is interesting. I feel like I've hardly seen splatter shot pros in multiplayer in this game so far. I absolutely. Alright. I absolutely hit one of the fail balloons. I guess fail balloons have more durability to them, so they're harder to destroy. To give you a little bit of leniency. With a weapon like this. Alright, this is the one that's a pain in the ass. God, it's amazing how much easier it is when you don't have to use a fucking squiffer. Wow! <laughs> Wow, it's amazing how much easier it is when you don't have to use a charger for that. I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm blown away. <laughs> like, I had to try that last thing like five or six times with the Squiffer before I got it. <laughs> wow. So that is... No, that's it. There's still more on this level. This is a huge ass world. I, actually, both of the next ones are huge ass ones. Path to perfect penmanship. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this is where you paint little buddy, isn't it? Yeah. So, I did this with the Octo brush. Now it's for the ink brush. Which I guess is harder because it's faster. <laughs> Easier for the time limit, but harder to steer because it's faster. I guess? I guess that's the idea. Whee! I'm aiming really high. That's me holding it normally. <laughs> the, uh... The aiming has gotten slightly out of way. Whee! And one, two, three, here we go! My painting is great! <laughs> yeah! I did so well! I gave him a mustache, I think! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I gave him a mustache. <laughs> that part is hard to get, that angle. Well, there's a lot of these levels that are really cool. But, um... Again, maybe it's just because Octo Expansion was the first time playing a Splatoon game like this. So the variety of, oh, a target breaking level. That was like, breaking a target level was a new thing in Splatoon, like in Octo Expansion. So maybe the fact that if there was like 50 of them, it wouldn't have stood out as being 
like not that much variety, but maybe in this because I've already seen target levels like that. Is that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think I remember this level. I think I remember this level. I don't know. I mean, I've. Oh god. My pop filter is fucking up on the microphone. Sorry. <laughs> Give me a second to fix that. Totally not at all really loud on the microphone or anything like that. It's fine. Um. I don't know. Like, I could go through the whole process of trying to justify or quantify it uh, with numbers and things like that. I've just like. Well, this is the reason why Octo Expansion. Like, Return of Millions isn't this compared to Octo Expansion. But at the end of the day, it's just like. Octo expansion had a big emotional impact on me, and I think that at the end of the day just doesn't prefer that. It's not none of me is saying that this game is bad. It's just Octo Expansion is a really high bar. And did this surpass that? I don't I, I just personally don't think it did. Like, I'm not saying this is bad because it's not better than Octo Expansion. Again, I've I've said it since it since I beat it the first time. And I still stand by it. I genuinely think Octo Expansion is one of the best games on the Switch. So, you know, it's not just, if it's not one of the best games on the Switch, it's garbage. It's not that. But just, you know. It's the obvious comparison point. Like, because I know some people have said that this is de facto, like, better. Because it's basically just Octo Expansion, but it has the, um, but it has the open world to go exploring on. And, like, don't get me wrong. Like, being able to find secrets and stuff is fun. Like... It's one of the things that Octo Expansion, like, Octo Expansion is missing secrets, and, like, it is fun to get secrets and stuff like that, and I agree with and I agree with that, but one, the secrets in the open world, oh, god. Okay, let's put the enemies first. The secrets in, um, in this are relatively simple to find. That doesn't mean they're bad or anything, but, like, it's not, like, super intense secret finding, um, puzzle action, stuff like that. It's just go around and literally listen to Small Fry all the time, and you get all the secrets on, and you can get them, and there's, like, fun little bonuses to grab. Um... And because of the amount of different types, you get like bonuses that are just like increase the music, or get your upgrades going, or get your hero shot, and just become overpowered as shit. Or get like decorations up. Yeah, like that's all that's fun. All of that is fun. But like, as an open world, it is relatively rudimentary. <laughs> like, it is. It is. It's not that it's. It's not bad. It's not bad, but like. It's not like massively in depth. <laughs> But I, th I think that's the kind of thing that comes down to more personal preference. Like, do you prefer the way the um, Return of the Marines has its secrets, where it's all in the open world, so you just explore the open world and you just find secrets by just going around and exploring? Or do you prefer how, like, scrolls were done in Splatoon 1 and 2, where you had to, like, properly explore these types of levels, and they were, like... The secrets were, like, harder to find in Splatoon 1 and 2 as well, because they were in these levels, and they were, like, often hidden, and they were usually more hidden than secrets are in this, in the open world and stuff like that. But, the levels having those secrets in them, does that mean that, okay, I want to do, like, the cool gameplay stuff, I want to do all the cool, like, I want to go through and I'll fight, focus on, like, what the challenge of the level is. But while I'm doing that, I have to go through every level with a fine tooth comb in case there's a secret there. Does that... Does putting a secret in these types of levels take away from just enjoying the gameplay from what it is? Or is it better to have it in there because then they can be more well hidden than they are in the open world? And that's just like I think a personal preference kind of thing. I think I prefer the way Return of the Millions does it. I like secrets in my platformer games and everything like that. Don't get me wrong. But for the most part, I would say that the focus of the levels in, of these is like how you deal with enemies or how you deal with like weapons or mechanics and yeah i'm kind of glad that i don't have to worry about trying to find secrets while focusing on those things and the secrets are just a cool little extra i can do once i'm not worrying about that like if i had to go through every one of these levels going around every single corner hyper specific to make sure i got every single secret it might it might mean like half of my playtime playing a level might just be making sure i get the secrets as opposed to enjoying what is the unique thing of that level 
But that's also just because of how Splatoon's mechanics and everything work. Splatoon, as a game, is more like that. Like, it's not, it's not a full-on, strict platformer-style game, it just isn't. <laughs> like, there's platforming challenges in some of these levels, but primarily the focus of the levels is to, um... The, the focus of levels is to, like, get secrets. <laughs> not, not, not get secrets, but, like, focus on mechanics and stuff. Not getting secrets. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, like if someone prefers this over Octo Expansion, I'm not gonna try and tell them they're wrong. <laughs> literally the opposite, like... Literally the dead opposite of uh, what that mentality is. I'm saying I prefer Octo Expansion because of the emotional impact um, it had on me, and less because of strictly what it does better and or worse compared to this. <laughs> like, I, I'm openly admitting that Octo I prefer Octo Expansion because of um, emotions as opposed to mechanics. Design. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. And that's gonna be the interesting thing about Breath of the Wild 2, I think. Like, with Tears of the Kingdom coming out. Is that it's just like... Like, Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I would literally put it as third. <laughs> I'd literally put it as my third favorite game ever. Breath of the Wild is incredible. But a lot of Breath of the Wild's impact is because it's the first game like that. <laughs> Not like, I, I, I said as much during the LP, like, frequently during it, and also it was like part of the, like, my final conclusions of the game. A big part of, um, Breath of the Wild's impact on me is the fact that no other game has made me feel the way Breath of the Wild has, in terms of, like, how it feels to explore in that game. Though I will say, Hollow Knight is achieving a similar feeling in a completely different way. <laughs> Getting lost in exploring in Hollow Knight is probably the closest I've come to exploring and discovery feelings of uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so there's that. There is that. But it's like, so, okay. Breath of the Wild 2 could be, like, really good and everything like that. Um, but also, like, like, Tears of the Kingdom could be great. But also, I've had a game that's probably made me feel the way Tears of the Kingdom does. And it's called Breath of the Wild, so... The fact that it is a sequel... Will its emotional impact hit the same way? I don't know. I don't know. Is it fair to judge it on that? I think that's based on the person. <laughs> the upside to enemy backsides. Attack enemies backs to reach the goal. <laughs> okay, this is actually... Okay, this is going to be a lot harder without the hero shot. Not because we don't have the hero shot, but because we don't have small prey. And this is a bunch of... Oh, wait, no, this is this. Oh, no, it's these enemy backs. Never mind. I was going to say, if it's the enemy backs and they've got shields... If it's the enemy shields, and use small parts to distract, but this way just for this. There we go. Bam. Okay, well, it, well, there is also enemy shields. Sorry, what were you saying? I couldn't hear you over me just brute forcing my way through the enemy. Also, wow, I'm using the splat roller to move around now, and wow. Wow, do I forget how slow this thing is compared to anything else. Wow, do, like, because I'm more used to using, like, carbon rollers or, ink, or straight up ink brushes, and, uh, wow, do I forget how slow a normal splat roller is. <laughs> For its movement. I know it, like, it does that, where it speeds up after a little bit, but wow. Even that. Like, so used to anything else. <laughs> and you can tell that I'm, uh, for the levels, I'm used to using the fling sucks. because I'm doing a jump shot and everything. Oh, well this sucks, because I, I have curling balls. the entire time. It wasn't even gonna hit you. You were just staring at it, just being like, what was that? Let me see you. All right. Nice. Nice. 
I love how they have the Octophones. Like, Octophones are a straight up a gear piece that you can get in um, the shops and stuff. And they look very similar to this. Bam! Oh, that's nice. Ah! There we go. Easy. Easy. Ready? Whee! Bam. Hell yeah. I'm making a mess of my hair and I'm making a mess of everything. Don't worry about it, it's fine. The upsides are the backsides. All right, oh, right, <laughs> right, we also have the dapples for this level. We also have dapple dilutes for this level. It's gonna take a hot minute to, to uh, get through these last ones, I feel. These ones might take a little bit to get through. There's a lot of levels here. There's a lot of levels in these ones now. And World 2 and 3 are the levels that ha are the worlds that have the least amount of our uh, levels in them. <laughs> and I think World 1 just has very few multi weapon levels. And also, I had already done a bunch of them to <laughs> get that extra power, so. Oh my god, I actually have a proper little. It's a bomb that's way easy to use for the shield things. Fuck yeah. It's way easy to use. Fuck yeah. They're so stupid. They're so dumb. <laughs> They're so, so stupid, so stupid. And also, yeah, I guess that these are uh, the um, the losers are pretty good for this, aren't they? Because you just dodge out of the way of the attack and just power. Good. Ready? Dodge out of the way. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dumbass. <laughs> these are the hardest, but. Were these the final things for this level? Like, the last options? The last one was way harder! The last one was way harder! So much harder! They want that- they want the Shockwave thing to be such a mechanic in this game. There's levels based around it, it happens in Salmon Run, it's a special, enemies do it here. <laughs> Splatoon 3 is incredibly happy that it managed to make circles that go out, that you jump over to dodge, and if they hit you, they damage you. <laughs> this game is so proud of that mechanic, that every mode has to feature it in some capacity. <laughs> there we go. God, there is so many. How many levels do we have left? One, two, three. That's the annoying one. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. <laughs> we have uh, fourteen levels to go. How many have we done so far? I don't think we had any in the first world to do. So there was like, what? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I guess Site 4 had a lot. <laughs> Site 4 did have a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm now starting to feel the fatigue of doing this many. <laughs> back to back when we're redoing. Because a lot of these I'm having to do the level twice in a row as well. <laughs> I don't know. Might, might stop after this one for today and come back another day. Which seems short, but also, I streamed Fire Emblem before this today. <laughs> I streamed Fire Emblem before this today, so... I have been streaming for a fair bit today. I know, but I'm also on the I'll call this the last level and we'll do it next time. <laughs> we'll do more next time. How do we get up here? I forget. I actually forget how this level works. I oh, it's literally that part, isn't it? Right, it's this part. I forgot. It's this part. <laughs> what if I just continue running and just don't pay attention to any of the snipers?
Time to brawl off. This is a big ass fucking shotgun. This thing is so slow at firing. Like the normal brawler, I find a little too slow at firing, but this thing. Another one of the weapons that I just basically never see in multiplayer. Which is weird because I feel like I saw the Tensor Brella a shitload in Splatoon 2. But in this one I don't see it. But in Splatoon 3 I haven't seen that. Anymore, so. and we're still at, it's probably just, we're at the early stages of Splatoon 2, um, 3, where it's multiplayer, where a lot of the people playing are not great at the game, read me. So a lot of people are using the weapons that are easier for lower level players to use, aka and saps and arrow sprays. My two mains. So I'm happy with how many blob lovers I'm seeing in multiplayer. People love the, bl the blob lover. I see those so frequently and I love it. When I see people rocking that, it makes me happy. I still see a lot of flinches as well. Come on. <laughs> it took four shots to kill the end and it fires so slow. So not only does it fire slow, it seems to do no fucking damage. Maybe this is why no one uses it. Maybe this is why no one bothers. <laughs> could be that. It could be that. Alright. So we'll do this with the hero shot and we'll uh, do the do we'll do the rest next time. Yeah, I'm try I'm trying to learn to not push myself with streams so of just going way beyond what I should. Playing Hollow Knight yesterday. <laughs> I normally don't stream the day before, like this is my day off stream, so that's, that's why it's like Fire Emblem and this combined. Um, so I normally don't, I normally try to not stream on the days before that um, anymore, and even now when I do it, it's normally that's when I do the Splatoon streams, because I'm just like, okay, I'm streaming the day before I do a really long day of streams, so I'll stream, I'll make that my Splatoon day, because Splatoon streams are going to be like multiplayer like two hours on the day. And then I, because this week got so fucked up, I changed my schedule. I streamed Hollow Knight yesterday for like four hours. <laughs> um, which is normally what I do, but then I normally don't stream early in the morning the next day. So blame Hollow Knight. Blame Hollow Knight. I don't know. I've mostly, I've also mostly recovered from my consolidus, but I'm still not feeling it. As many excuses as I can, as I can possibly give. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I don't need to. I feel like most people get that streaming is like, if you're someone who watches streamers a lot, I feel like you get it that streaming is exhausting as shit. It really is. It really is. Well, I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a difference, like, because when I speak to some people about how I'm a streamer, um, that, like, their response is just they don't get how, like, when I talk about it being tiring or anything, they don't get it, and, and they're just like, how is it, like, difficult to, like, stream and stuff like that? It's like you're just playing a game and it's walking, right? And it's just like, it's a little more complicated than that. <laughs> but then I speak to some people who, like, watch streamers and, like, know what it's all about and stuff like that. And I tell them, and it's just like, yeah, I work six days a week and then after five of those days, I stream for three to four hours. And then on my one day off a week, I usually try to stream for anywhere between six to eight hours. And then people will just tell me once, and people who know about streaming and stuff like that will hear that and just go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, sorry. <laughs> just what I do. But yeah, uh, uh, like, there's a lot of levels that we're just repeating now and stuff like that. So as much, it's not as much of a grind as fucking um, Splatoon 2's story mode. But yeah, I will call it there today because I want to push myself and stuff like that. And Eh, doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> doesn't really matter how long this takes. This is, again, everything's considered as extra, so if it's short, I don't really care. But yeah, we will come back. I, I know people really want me to do the extra stuff. Keep in mind, one, I'm probably not going to beat the boss anyways, because I can't do it in Splatoon 2. I probably won't do it in this one either. I'll give it like an hour of attempts and then give up. <laughs> I don't even want to see that, but we will get to that. We will get to that. Just, you know, it's going to take time. So. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time that I see you. And until then, this is version 2. Signing out.